away from me. Back up. Well, I, I mean, I didn't mean back up like that. He's gonna knife me though. What's going on, guys? My name is No Game. Welcome back to a new episode of Finding No Game on Modern Warfare. And recently, you guys have been blowing up in the comment section, pretty much everywhere on Twitter, saying, No Game, where is Finding No Game? When is it ever coming back? Well, it's here today, but like I said, it is very hard to do these Finding No Games because glitches get patched so fast. And also, I have to find glitch spots that players don't even know of. But for the people that are 100% new to Finding No Game and have no idea what it is and how it goes down, it goes a little bit like like this there's gonna be 19 of them on one team and then there's me with the time clock in the lower left hand corner does hit 20 minutes exactly that is when all 19 of these players are gonna be firing their weapons up in the air coming after me trying to find me my glitch spot and also melee me with their melee weapons so my main goal out here today is to win all three of these rounds without dying now if that does happen i do advance to the final round with the ultimate full flawless and that means i get the win but if any of these players do end up taking me out of here which i believe today it's going to be a very hard day because the glitch spots we have are on point and very good good but if anybody does take me out of here they will be advancing to the final round to go to the melee battle and see who's gonna win in all this today but like i said i believe the glitch spots that we have are very on point and are actually good today it's shipment though i don't know why i came here we also have a lot of good players in the lobby but i want to see if you guys can help me out today not only am i still sick and getting over this but i want to see if you guys can break this light goal just to have more finding no game and also help me get this full flawless today let's see if you guys can smash this like button and break ten thousand and likes in just under one day i don't think that's ever been accomplished on the channel to break 10,000 in one day that's actually quite insane and probably pretty impossible but i want to see if you guys can actually do it give me the luck today to actually win hopefully it actually happens but for the people that do enjoy playing along at home you guys can see the board on the left hand side this is all 19 of them in the game right now so whoever you guys want to vote for put their name down in the comment section down below and as always if you guys are voting for me no game i'll be hearting everybody's comment the most people i actually can whoever puts my name no game down in the comments i will be hearting that and thanking you guys for voting for me during this and uh having the confidence in me and me thinking that i can actually win in all this today but let's get down to the 20 minute mark and let's see how today on this very first round is really going to turn out now with time finally winding down to that 20 minute mark on our very first round of this Finding No Game episode, I'm freaking out more than anything right now, but there's a 20 minute mark right there, so they can be firing their weapons up in the air just to come after me, trying to get me. We got this win, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die today, okay? I know this for a fact, because check this out. They could see the care package on the minimap. All they did was this and press that, and they, they saw on the minimap where I was exactly going. That's how they know where I'm gonna be going. But they think, well, I don't know what they think. Okay, they think, I'm gonna look this way. Check them out, see? They think right now that I'm inside of this container. They're like, uh, I would say they're 80% sure that I'm inside of this container right now. But also at the same time, they possibly think that I went outside of the map. I don't know why no one's killing anyone. It's just like, it's a quiet lobby. It's on free for all right now. So these players can pretty much knife anybody and do whatever they want. But inside of this container, it's very special. Because if they get inside, they actually have to do that little jump skip thing that I did to get over to this position right here. Just hopefully, um, as we're uh, not only we have 19 minutes left, this is not looking good as they already found me this fast. This is going to be one heck of a lobby and very, very rough of a lobby. Now, like I said, a few minutes into this lobby and they've already figured out where I'm at. One thing that is on my mind right now and uh, freaking me out at the same time is why aren't any of them throwing... I don't like how he's above me knifing. I don't know why any of them are not throwing care packages on the ground right now just to try to get into this. They all came prepared today. Every single one of these players has on the shotgun to actually, except for this guy right here, has on the shotgun to do this glitch so they know what's up and they see that body. Oh my... I just witnessed. I did not need a witness. Crispy, I did not need to witness that. By the way, yes, we do have a lot of very good players in here. I'm sure I said that. And also, I mean, it's shipment, okay? Who comes for a finding no game to shipment? Like, I mean, I, I've been practicing these spots for a while, and they are very complicated and hard to do, especially getting inside of this container right here. But then again, why shipment? I don't know why I thought this was going to be a bright, great idea. With 16 minutes left remaining, it's actually looking pretty decent. It's, it, it feels good, okay? It feels good, but then again, at the same time, what the heck are they even doing? With 12 minutes left remaining, we uh, we have a few problems going on right now. Not only are these players finally trying the care package glitch, but we have about 
50 million of them trying the care package glitch and I dude, this could go either way right now I'm like I'm actually low-key freaking out more than ever right now Stimpy just blowing everybody up crispy up and McKenzie Stimpy I don't even know why you did that but look check this out the care package one is gone. Okay, wow, that, it's just, I don't know. They're not doing the teamwork, okay? There is people inside of this container right in front of me knifing this, okay? They are like 100% sure that I'm inside of this container right now, everybody. But I don't know what's going on. I don't get it. Like, I, it okay, here comes another one. I'm freaking out so much, okay? They keep calling these care packages in. People are placing shields like this guy. Like, what even was that? Why are you placing a shield right there? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, whatever they want to try to do. I mean, we have 11 minutes left remaining. If we can actually win this first round, this is going to be insane. I just don't know what they're even trying to do right now. We do have a few players outside the map, I know for a fact, because they ran right past me uh, right here next. What the heck? What are you guys doing? They ran right past me, okay? So we definitely have players outside the map right now, but once again, no game. Shipment was by far the dumbest idea for a finding no game. If we actually clutch and win this round right here, uh, you guys have to drop a like on the video, okay? If we win on shipment, out of all the spots you can hide on shipment, if we win here today, I I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely done. Now, with about six minutes left remaining right now, um, we, they're getting a very close, and um, I'm getting very nervous. What the heck is going on over here? Oh, no. Uh, somebody's outside the map. Somebody's outside the map. Uh, don't move. Do not move a muscle. Somebody's outside the map right now, right behind me, right next to me. I can I hear them knifing though. Yes. No. Yes. I can hear them knifing. So that means I can't. Yeah, he's right there. Just don't even look. Okay. Yeah. See him. See him right there. He is definitely knifing. This is freaking me out more than anything. This isn't good because now I can't look behind me to see if there's a player behind me coming in because I don't want to rotate. If I rotate, he's going to be able to knife me. Five minutes left remaining in this match right now. We we got to get this win. We have to get this win. My hands are sweating so much. I'm freaking out so much because there's a player behind me. There's players on both sides of me and there's also a player right in front. I cannot. I'm freaking out right now, dude. I got to do something. Now, I really don't want to say this, but right now there is definitely somebody to my left inside the glitch, I believe. I don't want to look just because I, I just don't want to believe it so i'm just gonna stand here and face this way oh no yo oh, you had to be kidding me stimpy actually got in with one minute left remaining there's no way he actually just got right in and took me out of there stimpy congratulations on getting that win great job on the first round with one minute left remaining we almost had that win right there stimpy he just slid right in and took me out of there great job on getting that win let's get over to our next map and let's see if we can continue this win now here we are guys on our very next map which is going to be on palace and i'm not going to let that one round ruin it all for me okay i've been practicing these spots and of course stimpy out of anybody gets super lucky i'm saying that is beyond pure luck to get like forced all the way through the crate right there but i do have a good spot today okay what we're going to do is we're going to take this atv and this glitch is actually patched online but in custom games they left it unpatched i'm gonna kill myself i need to stop i need to just relax with it and just back it on up just back it on up perfect like that right there and then just jump and hop right now nope, not gonna hop right on through but like i said this glitch is patched on multiplayer so it cannot be done but in custom games it's still a thing i don't know why it's still a thing but it I, it just doesn't make any sense to me they, their, their way of patching in this game makes absolutely no sense to me but pretty much all you do is take the atv and you back it up and you let go and you just jump on the back of it and it forces you pretty much inside of any kind of wall which we're going to be trying that right here and just jumping right on jumping right on in today's lobby this is not this is not my day okay guys I, it's really not my kind oh there we go that's what i was looking for now it's my kind of day but i have to add this i have to add a little bit more to this okay to make it a little bit harder for them place a shield there jump up here and then up here and now once we're up in this spot we have to wait till we actually get our next shield but i think this glitch is going to be pretty amazing but then we need to place the shield right here and then jump up here and then we just jump right over to this spot now that shield will destroy itself and fall down you won't be able to see it but this is going to be my next spot on palace i'm gonna lay down though so they can't see me but let's get down to the 20 minute mark and let's see if this next round is actually going to be any better than the first 
So once again, with time finally winding down to this 20 minute mark on the second round, I'm, I'm upset, I'm nervous, I'm sad that we didn't get the win on the first round, but there's the 20 minute mark right there. They're gonna be firing their weapons up in the air and coming after me, but look, look, okay? This is the view I have, beautiful, okay? I can see everything up here. You're not even supposed to be up here to begin with because this is all buried off, but I'm gonna be like, wait, can I do this? No, I, oh, I, that doesn't, uh, well, no, that doesn't help at all. I can't really see anything, okay? Maybe like this, but I think I'm sticking out too much. I want to lay down in this spot and actually get a win on this first round, I mean, the second round, but we're on Palace right now. Pa Palace is by far one of the biggest maps that we're allowed to play on in custom games, and there's a million places you could hide on this. If they figure this spot out, something is very fishy and something is going on, because... They're shooting over there. That's good. Yeah, keep shooting over there. Keep on shooting over there because I'm nowhere near over there. And, but if they figure this out, something is up in today's lobby because Stimpy getting me, it made no sense how he was able to just uh, phase right through the shipping container right next to me and just get me. A lot, of, a lot of shooting going on the road right next to me. Something's up today. Something definitely is up today. Uh, we have a problem. I seriously think right now... They know where I'm at. Yeah, look at the mini-map. Someone on the mini-map is already trying to glitch. What? This doesn't make any sense. How do you figure this spot out that fast? We're only five minutes in. Nah, something is up today, okay? They have some kind of perk on or something to figure out how to find me like this. This is, um, yeah, this is very fishy right now, okay? There's no way. I'm telling you, no, nah, I'm, I'm not trying to say they're cheating, but I mean, come on. There, there's no way. In five minutes, you immediately start trying the spot that I'm in to get me. I heard somebody in here, too. I'm just hoping if they get inside, they won't really think like, hey, we need to actually go down there or up on that little part right there and then jump over here. Hopefully, they won't think about that. Nah, something's up. Yeah, something's up. Something is definitely fishy if they figured this out in five minutes. No, I'm not taking this. Now, with a little over than 10 minutes left remaining right now, um, they have figured out where I'm hiding. I don't know how, but yeah, listen, I could hear them. Like, okay, they're trying the ATV glitch. They're also on the road right in front of me. You can hear them placing shields to actually get over into this area. Something is up, okay? There is, I've never experienced a finding no game, especially on Palace, okay? This map is huge, and they have still found me in less than five minutes. Well, they found me in five, but for sure in 10 minutes. They definitely found me in 10 minutes. They're like 100% sure that I'm in this spot right now, but they're not quite sure how to do it or how to get inside. I'm lost for words. I am, I am definitely lost for words. Like, this is really not adding up. Nothing is making sense at this point. I, I, I'm going with cheating. Like, there has to be, they have to have high alert on or something where it flashes off where they're close nearby me because you don't figure this stuff out in like five seconds. Now, with a little over than one minute left remaining, I think it's time. Time for me to finally get up and stand up and look around. Let me stretch my legs just oh my god it's just like see i'm finally getting a win feels so good but last time we had one minute left remaining stimpy killed me so i don't want to go through that once again whatever you know what it's one minute it's just one minute no game you could do it right at one minute i'm gonna stand up see there's no way they're gonna get this there's no way they're gonna get this in one minute i'm telling you there's no way they're gonna be able to get this in one minute if it actually does happen it, it's gonna be a heartbreaking time let me just let me just shoot a little bit let me just shoot a little bit just so they know where I'm at, so they can get a hint, they can get a clue to where I'm possibly hiding. Don't shoot the gate, because I don't want to give them too many clues. I'm shooting my gun up in the air and letting them know that I'm even over here. Hello? Do you, hey, how's it going? Yeah, finally. Hey, how's it going? Now, they, yeah, they definitely knew. They're saying the whole thing. Look at Vector, too. Vector is even in the lobby. Vector, I totally forgot you're even here. So they do know that I'm here. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, see? Nothing's going to be able to happen. They finally all know that I'm here with only 20 seconds left remaining. They're, oh, hey, whoa, chill, chill, chill. I would like to win a round by surviving, okay? Good lord. Let's not, let's not go crazy. Let's not, whoa, chill. 
chill. Let's not let's not do all this. All right, you guys, of course. You guys always have to go do the most just to kill me. They knew they weren't going to be able to get me. Let's get over to our next battle and see if we can continue this win. See, that's why I don't peek my head up. Because they're going to shoot and kill me every single time. Now here we are, guys, on our very last map of this finding no game. And I did have an amazing spot for the third round to pull the ultimate full flawless. But we're not pulling an ultimate full flawless, okay? It's just not happening. So I do have the same glitching method I used on the first round. But it's a little bit different. Instead of wall breaching, this method is actually going to put me underground. And I'm going to go far away from where I was last time. This method is actually a little bit more complicated. Just do this and then do that. And then sometimes it kills you. So you got to be like really, really careful about it. You shoot, shoot. And then right when it comes back down, you go underground. It's it's pretty weird. It's pretty different. But I mean, like, it's not putting me inside. Okay? Like, see how it put me underground? That's what this method does. Come down, and then I go forward and go underground. Just like that. So and all I have to do is crouch and then lay down, and I'm free. I can pretty much go anywhere. So it's kind of like the method that we did in the last Finding No game. But now, I have a better place that I can hide, which I'm going to be making my way all the way over there right now. So by the time the round starts, I should be over there. But these players are just killing each other, which they need to stop doing that. They need to stay in one straight line. But let's get down to the 20-minute mark, and um, by then, I should be in my hiding spot. So with that 20-minute mark slowly approaching, and there it is right there. They're going to be firing their weapons up there and coming after me, but... um. One, one small thing we got going on right now, okay? I have multiple people telling me and knowing this for a fact that we have two cheaters out there. Two people are running high alert. You can tell if you watch carefully, okay? People will run over to where I'm at and they will look and stare at me. I'm right now inside of the, uh, in the tower that's holding up the helicopter. I'm inside of that tower. So it's very suspicious how these players can immediately pinpoint to where I'm at and know where I'm at. Even at the end of that round, we had a few players saying, I knew no game was up in that spot on Palace. Like, how? How do you know I'm in that spot? So we definitely have two cheaters out there. So let them cheat. One of them is not Stimpy, though. Stimpy did actually get me, but I believe that them having on high alert in the first round led the rest of the players over to knowing where exactly I'm at because what would make you think I'm hiding inside of a shipping container? Like... Man, cheaters ruin this stuff all the time. I hate cheaters so much. When people cheat, it makes it the, it makes it the worst episode ever. But then again, I'm out here right now to beat the cheaters. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to beat the cheaters. Someone just called in a radar. These They're beyond cheating at this point. We are 15 minutes in, and someone actually called in a personal radar. Oh, this is beyond cheating at this point. Someone just shot it down, but wow. This is beyond cheating. And I um, as I was looking at that radar, I did have one player run by. And uh, yeah, that's not, not, he's good, he's good, okay. I had one player run by. He was looking inside of this thing that I'm in. Like, why would you look inside of this when everybody else... It's like, it's hard to say who's cheating and whatnot, and I, I, it's hard to say, okay? But that personal radar, that was the cheapest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Because now, whoever called that in definitely knows that there's a red dot inside of this for some odd reason. It, it's just, dude, I, I'm telling you, if I can go back and see who called that in, that would immediately tell me who the cheater is. But wow, these players we have out here today are extra... Nah, he's good too. Extra scummy. So with about uh, five minutes left remaining, we have a small problem. One player is underneath the map, but if you check on the radar, there is a Wilson on the map. There's a personal radar. I think it's Sti Stimpy? No, it's not Stimpy's because now it's going that way. Or is it leaving? Oh, they're shooting the ground. See, look, see. That, see, I didn't get his name. I didn't get that guy's name. I don't know if you guys can pause it right there and get that player's name. But I, I don't know, dude. I don't know about this round, okay? I think I might just throw it and let it happen because... Nah, these players are cheating, okay? Uh, 110%, these players are cheating, and I'm not having it because... Uh, Crispy, don't you dare get anywhere near me, Crispy. Don't get anywhere near me because I have a player right now making his way right over to me. I need to leave from this area because I, I'm one upset in these players and how they're playing today. There's a shield turret on the map. It's just... None of this is making any sense. You know what? No, just kill me. Let's get this over with, Flixie. You can go to... Oh. Hello? Wait, wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Is Flixie stuck right now? Oh, no, he's not stuck right now. He's actually coming towards me. Flixie, just go ahead and end it all, okay? Because you guys have cheated enough today where I now know that you guys... You know what? No, you know what? we're going to back up because you know what? I just realized this. I need to win a round so I can actually beat the cheaters. So, Flixie, get away from me. Back up. Well, I, I mean, I didn't mean back up like that. He's going to knife me, though. It's going to be happening right about now or, or probably not, okay? But you guys are such cheaters. To actually get underneath the map, knowing where I'm at, I'm done with this, okay? You know what? We're ending the round. I'm done. I, I can't do it anymore. You know what? Flixie, do it. Come on. Do it before I knife you because I should be able to knife you guys for the amount of time you guys have cheated. I'm just tired of it at this point. He can't even knife me. Okay, so there's one little thing that I didn't tell these players as a secret. You gotta knife the top of my foot. Like up there. There, he got it that time, okay? You gotta knife the top of my foot. It's not my hand on my arm. Like, see, watch when he looks up. He should be able to look up and get... Oh, no, he actually got my arm right there. Congratulations, Afflixie, though. That is advancing to the final round. This was the most cheated episode of Finding No Game ever in my life. And I, I believe it might be somebody that's on the leaderboard right now besides Flixie that actually cheated today. Because I had a lot of people telling me who was actually cheating and uh, who was doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. But let's give it to the melee battle and let's use you to win this all today. Now, here we are, guys, in the melee battle of by far the most scummiest episode ever of finding no game pretty much this is how it's gonna go down you can get on the other side flixy get on the other side with him both of you guys over there switch sides you guys are gonna be teaming up on me and um once i die you guys can take each other out so let's do this you guys are a team ready set go congratulations stimpy on getting me in the first round flixy congratulations on getting me that round uh, i'm coming back you guys the cheating the, the cheating is not going to be yeah. happening today congratulations to myself of flixy and also stimpy great job on getting that win so sadly guys that is going to be in today's video i really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode of finding no game even though we had a buco load of cheaters in here today i think we had three or four in total that were actually cheating but on the third round it really showed the amount of cheaters we had with these players calling in personal radars wilson's that pretty much target lock and show you players even if they're underground so these players were definitely cheating they knew where i was but i know for a fact flixie did not cheat and also stimpy did not cheat but the cheaters found me and led them over to me and they actually legally got me but thanks to the cheaters and them immediately finding me that's how it ruined today's episode i was saying that these spots today were god tier spots i practiced them day in and day out and uh even the third round though wasn't my uh spot i was going to be going to to pull the full flawless it was just a burner spot and it worked out for three minutes left, left remaining it actually did pretty well but sadly enough it didn't work out but if you guys did enjoy today's video and also voted for flixie and also stimpy to win in this all today guys go ahead and smash that like button and i'll see you in the very next episode of modern warfare hide and seek my name is no game later yeah